What is going on dudes, my name is Otto Thirsty, I'm your coach of your Kansas City Needle Kings, and today we have our week 13 team prep versus the Aston Villa Amphoro. So, we are doing once again on cartridge, which is super awesome. I think that's our fourth match we've had on cartridge this season, which is really, really nice. Uh, so thanks once again to Jay Blitz for joining my Pokemon, and I'm going to be explaining what, who I brought and why I brought them for this week versus the Aston Villa Amphoros and Master Roshi also known as Roshi Kane. As you see, we're going with Ravager, who at the moment, as far as I know, is the number one leader in kills, unless Josh has had his battle, and then most likely the Gyarados has taken over. But uh, if we can just pick up a bunch of kills with Ravager this week, that'd be super, super nice. As you see the moves that we're rocking, which is knockoff, earthquake, strength, and quick attack. So you probably wonder why I'm running strength. I mean, I could have run thrash or body slam, but I don't know how you get body slam on this thing, because apparently... Uh, it would not let Jabliss put Body Slam on it, so I just went for Strength. Same power, just doesn't have the Paralyzing Chance, so that's all good. Uh, knock Off, uh, one, I say this every time when I talk about Knock Off, but Knocks Off the item of the Pokemon, which is really, really nice. It hits, I think, everything for at least neutral damage, which is super nice. And getting rid of the, the, the Eviolite on the Chansey, or like an Assault Vest or Scarf on the Lando, or, you know, I can't obviously knock the thing off the Mega Slowbro, but it's super effective against the Slowbro, which is really, really nice. Uh, Sableye can obviously... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what items save light typically run probably leftovers. I'd assume anyways It's just gonna be really really nice in this battle I think that's my only Pokemon of knockoff, but you know, I'm I'm really glad that we're running it Earthquake is just once again a very very strong move um, It'll obviously hit the electrode and the Empoleon and the Dur the Durant for neutral damage the Delphox for super effective damage So it hits pretty well all around um, the only things that are immune to it are the Landorus uh, and the Rotom because it has uh, levitate if I only had mold breaker obviously the one the pincer that I have in here is uh, That I have in the game right now is moxie I mean I suppose it doesn't really matter in this situation anyway because it's gonna be mega evolved as soon as I send it in and anyway, so um, Mold breaker is not gonna do anything unless mold breaker works on the first turn that you send it in that would have been nice But I don't I don't know so that's not that important and then strength because it's a powerful stab move it hits uh, I don't think it hits anything for super effective damage except for the Valplume. Uh, it hits the Valplume for super effective damage the Electrode and Polion uh, the Electrode won't take that very well because Electro is not doesn't have that great defenses uh, those are the only two and the those are the only two actually that uh, do resist the flying kai move and they still don't want to take a strength quick attack is for that little bit of priority if the lando's low on health and we can take it out so as you see we're running max attack max speed with a jolly nature so the thing is with this nature i can outspeed the landorus as long as it's not scarfed but if it's uh if it's scarfed then it will outspeed me so basically uh that's what uh that's what i was thinking actually i truly don't know that it's got base like 91 speed actually that would make sense so if it's got base 91 speed, it's going to outspeed me no matter what. Or if it has the scarf, it'll outspeed me no matter what. Uh, max speed, max attack. Uh, I will outspeed, as, especially even on Jolly. That'll make it even better. And typically, I like to run Adamant because just hit that little bit extra harder. But if I can, uh, you know, take out that freaking Landorus, that'd be sweet. Uh, provided maybe it misses a Stone Edge or something like that. So anyways, yeah, number one leader in kills right now. I can actually check and see if Josh had his battle. So Josh has not yet had his match, so at the moment, uh, Mega Pinsir is still in the lead for kills. That's alright. Next we have Mew. So you see we actually have a shiny one this week. It's the only reason it's shiny is because Jay Blitz gen me a shiny Mew. So you know what, I'm like, why not? We'll just put it, we'll make it shiny on Showdown just cause, <laughs> why not? I, I personally like regular Mew better. I don't know, I think the pink suits it more than the light blue. Anyways, as you see, we're running a Scarf Mew this time. Uh, and obviously, Scarf Mew is really kind of for that Lando. If we can outspeed the Landorus, that would be sweet because Scald would hit super hard. Uh, we're running Aurasphere Scald, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse. Aurasphere will do decent amount of damage to the Chansey. Chansey, and especially if we can knock off the Eevee Light first, that'll be sweet. It'll do a pretty good amount of damage to that Porygon Z. Uh, and obviously, the Sableye does, uh, Sableye and... Sableye, Lando, and Slowbro all resist that, but you know what? It's okay. We have Scald for that Lando, for the Rotom, you know, uh, for the Delphox, so 
Water is pretty nice on this team, just because of the Pokemon that he has on his roster. So, Scald would be very, very nice if he can get a burn. If he can pick up a burn on that Lando, that'd be awesome. Because the other two Pokemon, uh, obviously, I can't burn. So, pretty cool stuff. And if anything, he wants to swap in, actually. If he, anything he wants to swap in, gets a burn. Even better. Next, we're running Flamethrower, because Flamethrower does a does work to that Durant. It'll do a lot to the Vile Plume. Uh, obviously, it'll hit that uh, Electrode for neutral damage. The only things that resist it are the Rotom and the Mega Slowbro. And the Delphox, excuse me. Um, but everything else takes at least neutral damage from it, which would be nice. If we can actually pick up a burn, that'd be nice as well. Uh, obviously, from Scald or Flamethrower. Scald has a higher chance of burning, but you know. And then Dark Pulse, obviously, for that Mega Slowbro, because it'll be easier to hit it on the special side, because I think, I'm pretty sure, has a better physical stat, physical stat, because, yeah. It's also pretty nice. It'll hit the Delphox if it ends up swapping in on that, and, you know, uh, pretty cool stuff. It'll hit the Sableye for neutral. So, you see we're running max special attack, max speed, running a Scarf, so I decided to go modest rather than, uh, you know, timid. I, in the long run, that might not have been that great of an idea because max speed scarf, uh, you, the the Lando would still outspeed me. But you know, I mean, max speed scarf with jolly nature, it would outspeed me. But if it decided to run adamant, then this thing will actually outspeed it, which is really nice. So, anyways, yes, there we go. That is our Mew, meow the Mew, and next we're bringing Sigma. So it's been forever since I brought Sigma to battle. I believe this is only your fourth match of the the season, which is pretty insane so uh, as you see we are running a lefties bulky set so uh, we're running call mind obviously if I can get set up on a couple Pokemon because there's nothing on his team that I'm really scared of nothing can really touch me that's the that's the beauty of it like unless a po one of these Pokemon can get a dragon type move Durant can probably get sucker punch or something like that um, a couple of those Pokemon can probably get sucker punch Sableye is probably the biggest a threat on his team when it comes to my Latias, so Latias was really, really nice, especially making it bulky. It's really, really good. So, uh, we're running Calm Mind, Surf, Ice Beam, and Psychic. Obviously, Calm Mind boosts my stats up. Surf, because, as I mentioned before, water is good against this team. Uh, Ice Beam, because Ice Beam will hit that Lando for four times damage. I held up a three, four times damage. It'll be very, very nice. It'll hit the Vile Plume for super effective damage. Uh, obviously, the Delphox and the Mega Slowbro will resist it, and the Empoleon. But, you know, it'll still pr hit pretty hard. Also, the Durant does resist it, but... Uh, if I can also pick up a freeze, that'd be sweet. Like, I'm just asking for all the hacks this match, you know. I mean, a burn on Lando would be the biggest thing I need, because it's his biggest physical attacker. His physical, biggest physical attacker on the team. And then Psychic, because it's a nice, powerful stab move, and the only thing that is unable to, that can really take it safely would be the Durant or the Sableye. And pulling on it'll do a decent amount of damage, too, I believe. Delphox, I mean, I think it'll still do a decent amount of damage coming from a max special attack Latias, especially if it gets uh, uh, set up. That would be really, really nice. So, we're running Modest, obviously, so we can hit that a little bit harder. That is why we were doing that. And then max HP, because I want to be bulky. I'm not really looking to outspeed stuff, and I still have a pretty darn good speed stat. I don't outspeed most things on his team anyway, even without the investment. So, very, very nice. Next, we have Mirror B, and once again, um, J Blitz put two R's in Mirror. So, we're running a Banded Bufalant this week. It's been a while since we did that. I think it was uh, one of the first couple matches in the season that we last ran it. Actually, we didn't even have it, I think, until week three. As you see, we're running Mega Horn, Earthquake, Head Charge, and Pursuit, of all things, rather than Stone Edge, which is what I typically run. But Pursuit is really only for that Mega Slowbro. So, uh, if I can hit that thing on a Switch, that'll be super freaking nice. And obviously nothing does resist the Dark type on his team, so Dark will hit pretty nicely and pretty hard on his team. Mega Horn would be for Pokemon like the Mega Slowbro once again. Uh, nothing else really takes any sort of damage from it. The Delphox and the Sableye will take neutral and so will the Vile Plume. Um, obviously the Pokemon that do resist it would be Pokemon like the Empoleon because Bug uh, Steel does resist Bug, you know, and then uh, that's act and then Fla I. Rotom Heat will resist it, and I believe Lando will too, because I think Flying resists Bug. I'm I, I'm actually pretty sure about that. Anyways, Earthquake is just there, just because it's a nice, powerful move. It'll hit the Electrode, as long as it doesn't use Magnarize before we do it. Uh, it'll hit pr a good amount of his Pokemon for neutral damage. It'll hit that Durant, Vileplume, and Del uh, Durant, Vileplume. It'll hit both those for neutral damage. Uh, and I'm pulling on for super effective damage, so it's really, really nice. Uh, everything, obviously, except the Lando and the Rotom, who are by default flying in the air, 
Porygon Z may get Levitate, I do I do not remember, but it may. And then Head Charge, because that's a really powerful stab move. And obviously the only Pokemon on his team that do resist that are the Empoleon and the uh, Sableye and the Durant. So obviously Sableye is unaffected, but Durant and Empoleon don't want to take that from a freaking banded Reckless Buffalon. So anyway, yeah. And then Pursuit, as I said, uh, Pursuit Trap, maybe such as a Slowbro or the Delphox, it'll do a ton of damage, which would be very nice because those Pokemon are going to be uh, big walls, and especially because I think Mega Slowbro has Regenerator. I could be wrong, it's been a while since I've even looked at anything related to Mega Slowbro, but you never know. Anyways, we were running max HP and max physical attack with an adamant nature, and then four in defense because why the heck not. But obviously, I just want to hit as hard as possible, and um, I, I probably should have put four in special defense considering he has so many special attackers compared to physical attackers. But, you know, it's all good anyways. I'm really excited Mirror B should put in a lot of work this week. That's what I believe. Next, we have Brainchild the Ooxie who... Ooxie... Why do I say... Sometimes I say Ooxie, sometimes I say Yuxie, and Yuxie is how I like to pronounce it. We're running a lefty, uh, physically bulky set. So, what we're doing, I'm running Foul Play, Fire Punch, Toxic, and Ice Punch. So, Foul Play, uh, will hit, you know, the, the Mega Slowbro, it'll hit the Delphox for pretty nice damage, and obviously nothing does resist the dark typing on his team, so that will be very, very nice. Um, and then the Fire Punch, because Fire Punch can hit a couple of his Pokemon, such as, like, the Durant, it'll wreck the Durant, the, the Vile Plume will take a lot of damage from it. Uh, obviously a couple Pokemon do resist it, such as, like, the, the Make Slowbro, the Rodom, the Delphox, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, Toxic, obviously if I can get some, uh, poison damage on a couple of these Pokemon, like, such as the Lando, if I can wear that thing down, Especially Mega Flip and Slowbro. If I can get Toxic on Mega Slowbro, that'll be very, very nice. Or any sort of status condition that, like, burn or, uh, you know, burn or poison. If I can get either of those on that Mega Slowbro, that'll be super nice, because that thing is going to be a big, big hole to fill. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then Ice Punch, because Ice Punch wrecks the Lando. That's another one of the big problems this team is that Lando T. Uh, that'll do a ton of damage. It'll also hit the Vile Boom for super effective damage. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't, it, it does have a lot of resistances when it comes to this. Like, he's got the Empoleon, the Mega Slowbro, the Rodom Heat, the Delphox. So, he's got a good five right there who resists, uh, the uh, Ice Punch. I think Durant does too. Anyways, we are running a max HP, max physical attack set, running out of it nature with four in speed. Because I didn't really know what else I wanted to put that in, so I just decided to stick it in speed. Just in case somehow that allows us to outspeed one more Pokemon. That would actually really help us. So, uh, yeah, as you see, that is what we're running for the Astonville Ampharos. Um, uh, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching this team prep video. If you enjoyed, like, so appreciate it. Master Roshi will be in the link down below. If he has a YouTube channel, I will leave that there. I'll also leave the DBL Twitter and Jableless's channel because Jableless general the Pokemon and he's awesome. So, yes, if you want to pick up your Kansas City Needle Kings merch, it's always in the description below. And yes, thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later. And let's go Needle Kings!